When people with serious medical conditions start talking about miraculous improvements, it gets your attention. That's right. Stem cell therapy, a practice in Franklin that does that, getting these kinds of reviews. Fox 17 News' Dennis Ferrier has the story in tonight's Ferrier Files. Mark Lewis plays the cello in a Savannah, Tennessee living room. He's good. He's gifted. But for Mr. Lewis, the real gift is that he can even sit and play this instrument. You need to understand, just 14 months ago, he was in agony. I was having trouble just walking. I would feel pain in my lower back. Um, I'd have shooting pain down my leg, um, sort of a limited paralysis and um, I'd have trouble getting in my truck. I, uh, it was painful to walk upstairs. Some days I'd have to crawl up the stairs in my house. That pain brought him to the Kellum Stem Cell Institute in Franklin, a place where he could receive cutting edge stem cell therapy. Dr. Kellum is a traditionally trained orthopedic surgeon, but his calling is stem cell therapy. And so stem cells, what it does is it helps to, to change the inflammation. If your immune system is up, it'll bring it down. If it's down, it'll bring it up. As we get older, our cells just don't want to work well. They become inefficient. So a stem cell will go in there to that cell and say, hey buddy, wake up. Let's go, do your, do your thing. And then so it acts properly. Mark Lewis's lumbar four disc was jamming into his spinal column. He was told he needed serious back surgery or he could lose bowel and urinary control. He was told it would take six months to recover and he would have a life-changing loss of flexibility. We say this as you see him clearly functioning with no back pain. I'm really active and to have somebody say, yes, yeah, so you're going to be disfigured now is like, oh. And then to be able to experience the chronic degradation of my lifestyle and then to have it within a few weeks just like turned around and to wake up and go, I slept. It was... Uh, yeah, there's nothing like that. The therapy generally involves taking stem cells out of your hip and mixing it with your blood parts to create a potent stem cell cocktail. It is then injected or IV'd back into you. We like to talk about how it can help autism to arthritis is what we say around here. So all things musculoskeletal, um, any chronic disease, we're talking heart, lung, neuro things it can help so much out there because all of it's about is about inflammation right so that's a bold claim but then again yeah, you haven't met Tristan oh, this is from across the spider-verse a young man with autism he gets by just fine day to day he has a job he has friends um, he struggles socially he struggles uh, making eye contact no way home no way home. That was pretty cool. That was After stem cell therapy, his family started noticing huge differences. Mm -hmm. I'm always a Spider-Man fan till the end. <laughs> My husband called me in tears because uh, Tristan had called him just to chit chat, just to see how his day was going. And that's nothing that Tristan's ever done before. Never done before. No. <laughs> and remember that eye contact? Not only did we witness him making eye contact with mom, he made eye contact with me, a total stranger. And you don't realize what you're missing until you get it. And so for us, you're getting these little moments that you never knew you always wanted. It may not seem much to a lot of people, but for us in our community, um, in the autism community, it's, it's huge. Mark Lewis wanted to see in black and white what stem cell therapy had done for him, so he got another MRI of his back. You don't have to be a radiologist to see the difference. That disc is almost looks normal. It's not perfect, but almost looks normal. And you just now have not only the subjective proof of how he feels and what he's doing, but you also have the objective truth of, of, the truth of seeing that disc and how it looks so much better. It's not magic, but it's magical. I was so impressed with the patients at the Kellum Stem Cell Institute, I decided 
to try it myself. This year I've had serious health problems, serious health problems. I'm going to take you along with me through the process in a follow-up story that I hope we will all find very interesting. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.